All right, guys, CodeBoy32 here, check it out. So one of the things that we're going to continue doing is reviewing a bunch of these competition triggers. And I've developed a pretty good relationship with the guys up there at Trigger Tech. Now, they are Canada-born, but I will tell you this. These guys uh, make a fantastic trigger. I was running their uh, Trigger Tech Diamond in the competition rifle, and that has since moved over to one of my DMR rifles. And then I, I made the... Uh, the, the call to go ahead and in the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor build that we're going to be moving up to is until I get a good feel for what's going on with that thing, we're actually going to stick with the Geisley SSA Enhanced, which I'm used to, especially on a 6.5 Creedmoor because that's what I'm also running in the Palmetto State Army 6.5 Creedmoor. But back to this guy. This is Trigger Tech's three and a half pound competition trigger. This one comes with the diamond light coating on the trigger, if you can see that thing right there. So what we want to do... I want to go ahead and go over the details of this guy. This has a straight flat. They also make it in a curved. It is black, black housing, short two stage. Uh, the mill spec, pin, mill spec pins of 0.154, and it is fixed at three and a half pounds. I will tell you this right now. It's a little less than three and a half pounds. You know why I know? Because well, I've actually installed it on a rifle. But <laughs> in any case, I just wanted to go over to it. So it comes in a box just like this. And I'm going to tell you something, these things are absolutely incredible. And one of the things that differentiates this trigger from a lot of the other ones is these true rolling friction deals. you got the trigger and the sear, and there is a roller bar in between. Where conventional triggers have a flat surface on surface area right there. And unless these areas are absolutely polished to the nth degree, you're going to get some type of grit. Now, they've also proven that with this roller bearing, even though they added some aggregate in there it did not make the trigger malfunction our vision is to revolutionize the firearm and the crossbow industries and I, oh yeah they make tr triggers for crossbows through innovation technology and manufacturing excellence by making sliding friction triggers a thing of the past our mission is to wow our customers by providing them triggers without rival that enhance their success without compromising on reliability or safety so anyway satisfaction guarantee in the product lifetime warranty okay so the first time i ever experienced one of these guys right here is in my mpa which came with the uh one of these trigger tech triggers it is the round bow trigger i would absolutely love to go ahead and switch it up to the flat trigger and maybe we will down in the future but i'll tell you what let's go ahead and pop this thing open and we will install it on this lower we're going to do a pull test on it with our new trigger gauge and we will also Go ahead and take it out to the range and do some double taps with it and show you what the resets well you know basically the simple things that we do on all our trigger stuff now down the road we will probably go ahead and do a comparison on all the top tier uh triggers that are out there now one of the things that we will do that differentiates me just telling you what i think about the trigger a good friend of mine razor jb um, helped me out with a couple things now i'm doing a lot of testing for some other organizations and one of the cool things that we're going to be doing is we are developing a test matrix i don't i'm not going to tell you what my feelings are behind the trigger what i am going to do is i'm going to illustrate what the triggers functions are and their capabilities and then show you the results of each one of those and then we will calculate and come up with the best end results for each one of the triggers and not i'm not even worried about price or anything else but what we're trying to do is give you the best guidance on what is the best top tier trigger system out there this is one of those this is a i think this thing retails for like 199 or somewhere along in those lines and it is one of the top tier triggers it's not adjustable which means well the diamond is a little bit more than a top tier trigger but look at that thing Beautiful coating all the way around. Look at the interior. Hold on one second. Look at that. Just like the diamond, this thing, the springs are polished. All the surface areas inside of the trigger are absolutely amazing. You've got the two snugging up little set screws that press it down on the bottom and pushes up, provides enough pressure so that your uh, trigger pin or your hammer pin, they don't walk out on you. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put this guy in and put it to the test, and we'll take it out to the range and see how it works. But I'll tell you what, man, I love the flat trigger, especially when it has that little lip down there, because one of the things I use that little lip is an indexing point 
on my trigger finger. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and put it in this lower and uh, get it on out there. Here we go. Do a functions check really quick. We're good to go. Look at that. I want to show you guys something. Look at that reset. And it's typical on all the trigger techs. Watch. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and check out that trigger pull with our trusty Lyman Trigger Check Puller Stinger Majigabob. Here we go. All right, so one of the things we're going to do is I'm going to take a piece of claw. I'm just going to stick down in here. One of the things that you want to do, let me show you something real quickly. A lot of people, when they say don't dry fire a lower like this without the upper receiver, what happens is, is the hammer makes contact with the bolt release right there, as you can see. And what that has a tendency to do is this is a weak point right here, and it may eventually break the lower receiver portion down there. You do that more times than not, and it's just bad practice. So anyway, let's go ahead and put something in there to keep that thing from making contact. And I believe this little rag right here will do just the trick. So we'll just stick that in there. Let's go ahead and pull this thing and see where she's at. About a quarter inch above that notch. Two pounds, 11.4 ounces. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Two pounds, 15 ounces. That's right at three pounds. If we put it down at the bottom of the notch, I'll show you what big difference that is. Two pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. So guys, an excellent trigger for $199. You would anticipate to be nothing less. Diamond light coating, roller bearings. That is the cat's meow. Let's get on out to the range, and I'll show you what this thing looks like when we put a couple rounds down through it. Alright guys, that's it man. This is the Trigger Tech three and a half pound competition trigger. Uh, I'm real impressed with this simply because ease of install, uh, <laughs> the uh, reset, the trigger pull, a little bit less than the actual advertised. Um, Oops, I didn't even see that. 100 yard targets and not a br <laughs> absolute breeze. One thing I'm not happy with is this Midwest Industries handguard. She's moving around all over the place. If you guys know anything about that, please let me know. Not real happy. Uh, look at my hands. Anyway, uh, real happy with this trigger system and the crispness, the cleanness of it. Just unreal. Double taps are easy at 100 yards. Ow, ow, ow. Let's go ahead and show you how this thing operates up close. Stand by. All right, so here we go. One of the things I want to show you is the take-up. There is hardly any take-up. Just that right there. All right, let's take a look at the trigger squeeze. Here we go. There's a little bit of take-up, and that's it. Watch this release. There's a reset. Absolutely beautiful. Man, that thing is a joy to shoot. Let's see if I can put some more steel here. Keep you guys in there. That piece of steel, she's down. Well, anyway, hold on. Yeah, man, that's a fun thing. And she's done. All right, so there it is, man. That's the Trigger Tech three and a half pound competition trigger. Retail on this guy is around $200. That's a bargain for a drop-in trigger of this magnitude. Now, there's a lot of different items that I look at in a competition trigger. One is the actual pull, how smooth is the pull, what's the brake like, and what is the reset. Reset is just as important as the pull for me. 
when you go in and you pull that thing, look at how beautiful that trigger is. It's flat, it's got the hook on it at the bottom. It's very simple. I'm a big fan of this guy. I'm not gonna be, a, I'm not gonna tell you I'm not. Uh, but in any case, we're gonna be doing the full-blown review or comparison. I'm gonna put this in with the big dogs, the guys that are up there in the 270 to $300 range, because I think it can compete. I think it's gonna be in a close middle range. But anyway, I think for the money, it's probably one of the best triggers on the market. Trigger Tech, that ain't no joke. It's Go to Boy 32. I like this trigger a lot. I wouldn't have a problem recommending it. I always try to let the facts show the way and let you make the decision based on the performance and what I'm able to do with it. But this guy's awesome. So anyway, guys, if y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Me and look, look how much movement that barrel has. That ain't supposed to be like that, guys. <laughs> and watch this. Ugh, hold on. That's going to burn. Ow. Yeah, you can move the whole thing. We're going to go back and remount this thing. I'm not happy with that. Once that gas block touches that rail, your accuracy goes downhill. And I can't afford for that to happen. Go to Boy 32. I'm out. Y'all be good.